more and more people are selling in Canada on Amazon. And how do you go about syncing that inventory and dealing with all of the data issues that come with international? My name is Stephen Pope and I am the founder of my Amazon guy. In this video, I'm gonna talk about inventory syncing and why you might potentially need to remove a connection. The reason this matters is uh, if you've got both FBA inventory trying to go live in Canada and you're shipping from the US and you've historically had an inventory sync for your merchant fulfilled live in Canada, you might actually need to remove that connection. And if you don't, your your inventory um, could go haywire. You might, you might go live when you don't want to go live. You might be not live when you want to be live and vice versa. So um, this help file that I've got here, I'll put a link to it in the description, but basically you're going to go to the build international listings tool, which is this. And then here, if you've got them currently synced, you can in the bottom right hit remove connection. What that will do is if you set the quantity to 100 in the US and you go to Canada and you want it at zero in Canada, then that connection being severed will make the inventory be unique. Uh, on the flip side, let's say you wanted your inventory to be the exact same in Canada and the US using your merchant fulfilled quantity in the US you would then want to build that connection instead. Um, additionally, there's some other complications with remote fulfillment that we recently discovered. So remote fulfillment is a program out of FBA US inventory where you ship out of your US FBA inventory to Canada and Mexico. It's called NARF, North American Remote Fulfillment. And if you want that on, and you also want FBA inventory on, that's uniquely shipped to the actual Canadian FBA facility, you need two different SKUs for that, or you need to turn off remote fulfillment when you do that. So, so these kind of intricacies with inventory management and catalog data management as you start to load international listings can get complicated. And so if you need to hire an expert, go to myamazonguy.com. We can, we can help you navigate these waters. There's somewhat of a bit of a complexity as, as you enter the international country waters, so to speak. Um, and I am very, very much inclined to say that Canada is worth doing. It's usually about 7% of your US sales. And it's much easier to launch in Canada than it is, say, in the UK or Germany. Germany could definitely be anywhere from 10 to 20% of your US sales. But the VAT tax, the customs, the shipping and the hassle is a pretty large headache. Um, so if you're going to lint, if you're, if you're maximizing your sales today and you said, Hey, I've got great sales in the U S and I want to do something else. Canada is the next on the list. In my opinion, at bare minimum, get remote fulfillment set up that NARF program. Uh, and if you want to go more advanced, physically ship into Canada, uh, into their FBA facility as well. My name is Stephen Pope. I'm the founder of my Amazon guy. We're here to support you on anything related to advertising, design, SEO, and catalog management. Hope you give us a ring. Thanks.